All right, Onyx, use Rock Smash. <laughs> nice, Onyx, good job. Heh, <laughs> you call that Rock Smash? Watch this. All right, Bellsprout, you use Rock Smash as well. <laughs> Bro. What is going on guys? This is Dobbs here bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm gonna go over 51 weird Pokemon stats from the Pokemon games and, and even the anime, I think. And just to let you guys know, I hit three Master Balls in this video. And if you find them all, well, you're awesome. And also, this video is sponsored by Keeps, and I want to let you guys know a little bit about it first. And I wanted to ask you guys, do y'all remember the Afro guy from Pokemon Red and Blue? You know, this guy right here? Well, this is him now. He's bald, and he hates being bald. And unfortunately for him, he fell victim to the two out of three men who experienced some kind of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. But luckily, we have a Celebi, so we can time travel back and potentially save his hair loss by using Keeps. Because the best time to prevent hair loss is when he still have hair. And with Keeps, it becomes a lot more easy to find the best treatment plan through a doctor. So all young Afro guys to do here is go to Keeps and consult with his doctor. And then boom, he's already being the male the best treatment plan for his hair loss. And in four to six months or even more, he will start seeing results. It may not become fully bald when he grows older. And if he has any questions, he can help Keeps whenever he wants because Keeps is 24 seven and the doctor is right there to help him. So yeah, provision is definitely key, especially for a young Afro guy here. And if you want to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com forward slash Dobbs or click the link down below in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com forward slash Dobbs. And yo, I gotta give a big shout out to Keeps for sponsoring this video. It helped me out a ton, so definitely go support them and help them out a ton. And yeah, with that said, without further ado, let's get started with the video. A Scavalier's Pokedex entry talks about flying at high speeds, yet it's one of the slowest Pokemon. Like, quite literally, it is the 35th slowest Pokemon out of the 800 Pokemon we have in, in the game. And what makes it even weirder is that it resembles a Jousting Knight, and Jousting Knights are supposed to be fast to defeat their opponents, so its speed stat just makes no sense. Her Ugly, a fat cat, has a higher speed stat than Latios and Latios, two jet Pokemon. And even in Latios Pokedex entry, it talks about how it can fly faster than a jet plane. So that means per ugly, this fat cat can, can run faster than a jet plane as well. Even faster than Latios and Latios. So, so yeah, this speed stat is, is just very weird. If there was a picture of a dictionary for a weird stat, Onyx would be the face of it because his stats are just whack. Because believe it or not, Onyx has a lower attack stat than Bellsprout and, and even a Joltik. And also the same attack stat as a Butterfree. So that means an uprooted plant thing and a baby spider can hit harder than a giant rock snake. And also a butterfly can hit as hard as a giant rock snake as well. So yeah, Onyx is definitely the representation of a weird Pokemon stat. Abra has a higher special attack stat than Mew. Yes, I'm not even kidding. This baby Abra that can only learn teleport has a better special attack than a legendary Pokemon. who was also said to be the ancestor of all Pokemon. No wonder Abra was so good in Pokemon Stadium in the little cup. Jesus. Arbog is literally as tall as Groudon, measuring in at 11 feet and 6 inches. I thought Groudon was supposed to be a goliath of, of mountains and such, not as big as a, as a stupid snake. No offense, Arbog. Floet has a higher defense and special defense than a Whale Lord. Yes, this little fairy on a flower is more bulky than a gigantic Whale Lord, one of the biggest Pokemon in existence. It honestly makes no sense. Miltank, a fat cow, is faster than a Rayquaza, a dragon that is a practically a god. So maybe instead of a Rayquaza, maybe maybe Miltank should have saved the Earth from Groudon and Kyogre fighting. He could have gotten there faster. Walrein has the same attack stat as a Slurpuff and Klefki. And keep in mind, in Walrein's Pokedex entry, it talks about how his massively developed tusk can totally shattered blocks of ice weighing tons. Tens of tons. Yeah, this little fluffy thing with his tongue sticking out and a pair of keys can apparently hit harder than this Walrein. It just, it just makes no sense. Typhlosion has identical stats to Charizard. Like, like literally. And not only that, his pre-evolutions also have identical stats as well. So let me ask you, Game Freak, why is Charizard getting all the love when, when Typhlosion is basically his twin? And how could he do that to my boy? He has no flames anymore. He, he just looks like a giant rat or something. He needs his flames back. 
My low tick is surprisingly humongous. It's just two feet off of Rayquaza. So who needs a Rayquaza? Who needs a Mill Tank? We can just use my low tick to save the day. And also it's prettier, so it would look look nicer. Krabby has a higher attack stat than Infernape, Celestia, Guzzlord, Zygarde Complete Form, Garatina, Kyogre, all of the Regis, Tornadus and Therian Form, Zapdos, Vrizian, Cabalion, Darkrai, Heatran, Lugia, Etronatus, and Calrex in Shadow Rider Form. And on top of that, just much more. So Krabby is basically a legendary Pokemon. Believe it or not, Magikarp in the rain with Swift Swim is tied for the third fastest Pokemon in the universe, behind just Deoxys the Speed Form and Reggie Eleki, which is kind of hilarious. Ice Q in No Ice Form, or I, I guess Noise Form, is faster than a Rapidash. Yes, a penguin that waddles is faster than a horse that is known for his speed. So maybe if one of the racers in that one episode with Ash and his Rapidash had an, a, a no ice for Ice Q, they could have totally won that race. Bunnery is the only non-legendary or mythical Pokemon that has a base friendship level of zero. So it, it basically hates you. But when it evolves though, it gets the highest friendship level. So it goes from hating you to falling in love with you. Arceus, the god of Pokemon, is surpassed in stats by other non-godly Pokemon. And the weirdest one is Eternamas Eternatus. It, it totally eclipses Arceus. And you would think the god of Pokemon would eclipse all other Pokemon because it is the god of everything. It is omnipotent. So maybe in the Gen 4 remakes, we'll see a new form of Arceus or, or even Legend of Arceus as like a primal Arceus form. And we'll have like a base stat total of like 2000 or something. That would be crazy. Sunkern, one of the weakest Pokemon of all time, happens to have the highest Pokeathlon stats. And is also tied with Ditto, Garatina, Origin Form, and Arceus. So Sunkern is basically a god in the Pokeathlon, which is hilarious. And adding on to the Pokeathlon, Alakazam is one of the worst Pokemon in the Pokeathlon. Which is weird because Alakazam has an IQ of 5000, making it one of the smartest Pokemon in the entire universe. Yet, it's not smart enough to obtain a perfect score in the Pokeathlon. It just, it just makes no sense. It's literally outmatched by a seed of, of, of a sunflower. But I guess that made Sunkern good for something. Vikavolt is slower than Blipbug, Caterpie, and also is pre-evolution Grubbin. Which is insanely weird because Vikavolt looks very aerodynamic, so you would assume that it could fly fast, at least faster than his pre-evolution Grubbin. And also you would assume it's fast because of his typing, because let's type Pokemon are generally fast Pokemon. So the speed stat of Vikavolt is just weird. Youngster's Joey's Rattata is actually not a top percent Rattata. Because someone went to the game's coding, it looked at the Rattata's stats, and it has zero across the board for his IVs. So it's literally just a regular Rattata, not even top percent. I, I can't believe you lied to me, Youngster Joey. I thought we were friends. We used to be best friends, remember? The fact that Youngster Joey thinks we're friends. We're not only friends, we're best friends. This I can't believe you. For some odd reason, Simra's special attack stat is higher than his attack stat. Even though it literally unsheathes two blades from his armor as weapons. Like, I'm not even joking. Look at this anime clip of him unsheathing like these blades from his forearms. It's, it's badass. Yet, his special attack is higher than his attack stat. And it even says in his Pokedex entry that one swing of his sword can take down an opponent. So, I, I just don't understand. Guzzlord has a lower defense stat than Magikarp. Even though it's a giant crab with a, with a giant shell, it's lower than Magikarp's. Ultra Beasts are just weird. Speaking of Ultra Beasts, Kratana, a Pokemon made completely of paper, has a higher defense stat than Pokemon like Rapier, Metagross, and Golem. Pokemon made completely of steel and rock. So yeah, like I said, Ultra Beasts are insanely weird. Apparently Phalanx is 9 feet 10 inches tall. And I know, they probably meant by the length of the phalanx, but the way this written out, it looks like the phalanx are a group of giant Kirby's, which would be as tall as Coppera Jaw. So yeah, that's weird. Kind of cool. In Generations 1 through 5, Pidgeot was outsped by a lazy gorilla, Slaky. And on top of that, it was outsped by a Scyther, a, a praying mantis, which is supposed to be the prey of Pidgeot, you know, because it's a bird and all. And on top of that weirdness, it also states in its potency entry that it flies at Mach 2 speed, so it makes it like ultra weird. No wonder they buffed it in Generation 6 making it faster, because that just made no sense. Shuckle having one of the highest base defense stats is insanely weird, given the fact that it's a bug inside of a rock shell. It rivals with Pokemon like Mega Steelix, which is a giant rock snake with diamonds protruding out of his body. 
and it even has a higher defense stat than a Pokemon made completely of diamonds, which, which is Deontay. And with this defense stat, Shook could technically do the most damage in the Pokemon games. It's like over 481 million damage. It's insane. I even did a video on this like four years ago. So if you want to check that out in this video, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's crazy sauce. Alomomola has a higher HP stat than Snorlax. I know it's known as the Healing Fish Pokemon, but having more HP than Snorlax, a giant bear, is, is pretty weird. And also, why didn't they give Love This this evolution? That would have been perfect for, for that pathetic fish. And speaking of Love This, its speed stat is insanely weird. It, it's just so fast, but all those other stats are, are awful. So both these heart Pokemon are just, are weird. Klefki, a pair of keys, has a higher base stat total than Tropius, a leaf flying dinosaur. How, how could that happen, man? Like, that's crazy. Fairies are just no joke in Pokemon. Leaf Yawn, a Pokemon that's made of leaves, has the same defense stat as Pokemon made completely of rock, like Rhyperior, Gigalith, and Golem. I just, I don't know anymore. I don't understand what's going on with these stats. We always imagine Venusaur as the shortest generation one starter Pokemon, but weirdly enough, it's actually the, the tallest. Because Venusaur is 6 foot 7 inches, while Charizard and Blastoise are around 5 foot 8 inches. And what makes it even weirder is the fact that it's probably not even head to toe because we see Venusaur and Blastoise do a fusion dance in the anime, and they appear to be the same height. So it's more likely that it's flower to toe, which would make it pretty dang humongous. It's quite literally a living frog dinosaur plant thing. I'm about 5 foot 11, and all of these Pokemon are as tall as me. And the ones that pop out to me the most are Furred and Dratini. I, I couldn't imagine those Pokemon being that big, especially as big as me. Well, for the Furred, I could, because I actually own a life-size Furred plush. So shout out to the Dobbs Nation. When Gyarados evolves from Magikarp, it literally gains one point in its speed. And when it Mega Evolves, it doesn't even gain any speed stat, even though in its bonus entry, it talks about its immense speed. Which means that a Swift Swim Magikarp can outspeed a Mega Gyarados in the rain. Which would be a pretty funny sight to see. Stats in Pokemon Go are really weird because Pokemon can weigh nothing. Like, look at this Flareon. It, it literally weighs zero. It, it, it's, it's gas. It's a ghastly Flareon. That doesn't make any sense. Bro, even ghastly weighs more than this. It just makes... It's nothing. Rotom is very weird because in its base form, it's one foot tall and weighs 0.7 pounds. But in its other forms, well, it's the same height and weight, which makes absolutely no sense. How could it possess a refrigerator and be the same height and weight as it was before? I feel like that was a major oversight for, for Rotom. What's really weird is the fact that there are some Gigantamax Pokemon that are statistically shorter than Eternatus, which if you didn't know, is the biggest Pokemon now. But you can clearly see here that it doesn't seem that way at all, because th this Butterfree is it's humongous compared to the Eternatus. Apparently, Gigantamax Butterfree is 55 feet tall, when Eternatus in his base form is 65 feet tall. It just, it's, it doesn't make sense. We all know Chansey has an insanely high HP stat, making it one of the most tankiest Pokemons in the game. But something that is weird about it is its attack stat. Its attack stat is a mere 5, and what makes it weird is the fact that its central move is Egg Bomb, a physical move with a base power of a whopping 100. So one of Chansey's signature moves is just useless to it because its attack stat is so low. Trapinch has the same attack stat as his final evolution, Flygon, with a whopping 100 attack. Which technically means that Trapinch can actually hit harder than Flygon with its sheer force hidden ability. And keep in mind, Vibrava and Flygon cannot have the sheer force hidden ability, it's only Trapinch. So it's pretty weird that the first stage Pokemon can hit harder than both its evolutions, so it's, it's crazy. But not as crazy as Krabby. Krabby is just the craziest. And one day I will make a top 10 craziest Krabby facts, mark, mark my words. Wishy-washy in soul form weighs a mere 0.3 kilograms, but when it transforms in skull form, it weighs a whopping 78.6 kilograms, which would mean that its skull form has 262 wishy-washies inside of it. But its base stat total only goes up 3.5 times, and when doing the math, it should actually add up to 45,850, which, as you probably would guess, would make it the strongest Pokemon by far. So it's just weird that it goes up only 3.5 times when 262 wishy washies join together. But at least it's still stronger than a pseudo-legendary, which is crazy in itself. But not as crazy as Krabby Facts, I'm telling you man, it's, it's gonna be a fire top 10. A Turtomax Eternatus catch rate is 255, 
which is basically a guaranteed capture with, with any Pokeball. Which means that Internatus shares the same catch rate as a Route 1 Pokemon like Rattata or, or, or Pidgey. So if you want to capture the strongest Pokemon to ever exist, it, it literally takes no effort at all. It'd be easy as hell. Rhyhorn Racing is an actual thing, yet its base speed stat is only 25. So watching them race would literally be like watching sh snails race. Because snail Pokemon like Shelmet and Slugma have 25 speed and, and 20 speed, so Rhyhorns are, are really slow. And on top of that, you can see how slow Rhyhorn is Pokemon X and Y, so it, you, you can just see it firsthand. Flareon has the same attack stat as a Machamp. Yeah. Yup. Like, why did they even give Flareon a high attack stat when Fire was special in Generation 1 through 3? It just really, it's really weird. The glitch Pokemon P and H Poke are technically the tallest and heaviest Pokemon to ever exist in a Pokemon game. With both of them weighing in at 6,099 pounds with a height of 80 feet and 3 inches. So when you compare these glitch Pokemon to a Pokemon like Joltik, this is what it looks like. They're, they're, they're huge. Bellsprout and Shuppet have the same attack stat as a Registeel. Just, just think about it, this little uprooted plant and a piece of cloth can hit as hard as a legendary golem made entirely of steel. That's just weird. It's kind of weird that Cloyster had the 7th highest base stat total in the original Pokemon games. It was quite literally on par with the legendary bird Pokemon. So was it Cloyster that was planned to be a legendary, or Arcanine, who was 25 points lower? I'm not sure. This panty looks a lot like Cloyster, with like legs or something, and also red and on fire. That's definitely a Cloyster, for sure. Duraldon is 5 feet 11, yet weighs only 88 pounds. Which is really weird when you compare with other Steel type Pokemon like Registeel. Because Registeel weighs 450 pounds at 6 foot 3. And keep in mind, Registeel is said to have a hollow core, so it could be even more if, if it was filled up and solid. So Duraldon's weight is pretty questionable. This is probably more crazy than weird, but Mantic has the same special defense as Mega and Legendary Pokemon. And you would think as a baby Pokemon, it would be pretty vulnerable, but it seems that it would be able to defend itself pretty well. Which is... crazy. It's kind of weird that Exernius, the life Pokemon, doesn't have the highest HP stat of all Pokemon. And it's even weirder that Whalmer, a random pre-evolution, has a higher HP stat than literally the embodiment of life. This baby whale has more HP to it than the Pokemon that literally gives life to everything. It's just weird. The first edition and Shadowless versions of the base at Bulbasaur card incorrectly states that Bulbasaur's length is 15 pounds. I don't get it. It's weird that Wobbuffet has stats in its attack and special attack given that it can learn no attacking moves. Its whole set revolves around countering. I guess you could Dynamax a Wobbuffet in Generation 8 and utilize those stats with Max Knuckle and Max Mindstream, but for the last 6 generations, those stats have been pretty useless. And same with Pikumiku. It's really weird that Scyther can actually be bulkier than his evolution Scizor with an Eviolite. Because if you didn't know, Scyther's stats only distribute differently upon evolution rather than increasing. So Scizor, a steel type Pokemon with a suit of armor, is not as bulky as a praying mantis holding some kind of, of rock. Which is pretty funny when you think about it. Teleflame has less attack than a Moongus. That's pretty sus. And finally, Dragonite is said to be able to fly around the globe in 16 hours, but its base speed stat is only 80, which is pretty low. That would mean all of these Pokemon above it will be able to do the same thing, given that they can cross the ocean. And I think the funniest one out of all of these would be Grumpig, a fat pig. That would be a sight to see. And there you go, 51 weird Pokemon stats. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support me on Patreon, click on the button right here. I spend days, if not weeks, on these videos, and the YouTube algorithms really favor that, so it helps me out a ton. You get to talk to me and also see sneak peeks of future videos, so there's a lot of cool things that come with being a Patreon. And also, if you want to binge watch my videos, be sure to click on the end card right now and start binging. And yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya.